cleaning up this uh, ancient piece of exercise equipment. It's a spring deal at the twist. You go, you bend it. Anywho, it's a little bit rusty, you see. On this side, if it's even picking it up, the sun's screwing me over, but uh, this side was rusty. This side, not so bad, but still rusty. I am uh, pretty much cleaning up this chrome to make it shiny again. Now you can see it better. Over here, we had the heaviest amount of rust. We really can't do too much with that, but overall, it looks a lot better. See over here, we have some surface rust. So in order to get that off, I've been using this simple process that worked uh, pretty good on uh, bicycles and whatnot. You know, on bicycles, most was painted, but if you had a chrome handlebars or whatnot, or this heat base, it would also work. But, uh, what I basically do, I need light oil to work good. I just happen to use the, uh, I can't advertise, you know, what it is. WD on it. It's basically, eh, that side's pretty good, so we'll start over here. But, uh, basically I'm just giving WD a little, uh, spurts. Using some steel wool. Let's see, should you really be using a bigger piece? But, I'm using some fine steel wool. And it's going over the rust, and eventually you will uh, break this stuff up. The chrome will turn orange, and most of the rust will be smoothed out. And you'll, you'll see that it, uh, the item you're trying to de-rust will hold up much better as long as it's not really exposed to the elements. Um, a light coat of automotive wax also helps kind of seal the surface, so the rust doesn't come back as fast. So that's just another tip for you. But like, like over here though, you're really not going to be able to do anything with this, like I said. Because you almost see some of the little chrome pieces hanging out over here. Because that does totally lift it. What you could do though, if you want to really stop that rust, a little bit of rust converter you can put in there. And it will kind of turn this, this rust over here into more of a blackish color. And it will seal that out. And here is rust converter. You don't need to buy Eastwood stuff. That's kind of pricey. I just bought a bottle of this years ago when I had another um, order with them buying chassis paint but usually hardware stores will sell something similar any kind of rust converter or rust treatment it comes in liquid form like this or it comes also in a spray form kind of like the liquid better and uh, before you do this though if you want to de-rust it you're going to have to get all this oil off gonna have to use something strong like a degreaser even brake cleaner alcohol to get all the oil off because the rust converter does not work good on oil so keep that in mind if you plan on doing that I'm not gonna do that in this job but I thought I'll just throw that or I forgot to tell you too to wear gloves when you're doing this because uh, you're gonna get dirty and uh, as you see on this side it wasn't that rusty I have a little more corrosion over here but uh, it's like over there it looks much better overall. See so when I wipe off my oil. And it's going to scratch up your chrome a little bit. I'll take it out of light again so you can see. It's going to scratch it up, but overall it'll look a lot better. Just have like a concourse restoration, you know, chrome bumper on your car or something. You might want to use a little finer uh, grade steel wool that I'm using. This stuff's pretty coarse, so I just kind of grabbed what I had on the top of my steel wool pile. But uh, I did this too on the chrome bumpers of a uh, 1956 Oldsmobile Rocket 88 I had a couple of years ago. And uh, it came out pretty good. And again, this one little corner of the bumper looked like that. But I waxed it and it was sitting outside. It lasted a couple months, it was still looking good. So, for a quick fix, to give that overall big picture of a shiny piece of chrome, this method will work great. I just see had a little light spot over here and you know once you get the most of it well once you get the, uh, the top top coat of rust off you can go back with finer grades and uh, keep polishing it and uh, you'll see that even this will kind of break up a little bit where it looks worse so that's my tip of the day I hope it helps someone when you're trying to uh, de-rust something that's rusty or you know you'll throw it out fix it up and it'll look a hell of a lot better than a uh, rusty item sitting around your house
It's nice and shiny. Looks good enough for me. Still got those black spots, so what? You can do what you can do, you know? I'll throw this in too. With the moisture down here and the salty air, I never had uh, cans rust on me in the garage before. They rust up pretty quick here. Look at that. I had a couple that have been leaking because they got so rusted. It's crazy.